Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install SFTP Go on Ubuntu 24.04 or 22.04. SFTP Go is an advanced server that supports SFTP, FTPS, and WebDAV, as well as local and cloud storage. So whether you're setting up a personal server or managing storage for a company, this tutorial will help you get started. Let's dive right in. First things first, let's make sure our system packages are up to date. Open your terminal and run the following commands. This ensures we're working with the latest system updates, which is essential for a smooth installation. Next, run this command. This command ensures that your system has the necessary tools to manage software repositories efficiently. Next, we'll add the SFTPGO repository uh, to our system. Run this command again to update the system so as to refresh the APT package index cache. Finally, run this command to install the software on your system. You can check the status using this command. We need to open specific ports on our system or firewall to allow access from external networks. I am connecting to the server using SSH, so I open that port first because the firewall is not yet running on my system will lock myself out if I enable the firewall without opening port 22 first. SFT Go comes with a web-based user interface for easier management. By default, it runs on port 8080. Open your browser and navigate to the IP address of your server. Upon accessing the web GUI, you'll be prompted to create an admin account. After accessing the SFTPGO dashboard, let's create a new user for accessing storage data using an FTP client.
SFTP Go supports various storage backends, including local file systems, encrypted file systems, S3 object storage, Google Cloud storage, Azure Blob storage, and even other SFTP server. Let us now connect to the SFTP Geo server using an FTP client. Type your server IP address along with the SFTP protocol. Use the username and password you created on the SFTP Geo interface. Use port 2022. As you can see, we are now connected and we can now start transferring files. To use your remote server's storage as a local disk, you can mount it as WebDAV with SFTP Go. First, enable WebDAV by editing the SFTP Go configuration file and setting the WebDAV port. Restart the machine after saving the file. Let me mount SFTP Go as WebDAV on my Ubuntu machine, so I use it like a regular disk. As you can see, the disk is now mounted. Let me do the same on my Windows machine. Open the systems registry and go to this key. Now open PowerShell as admin and then run the following commands.
SFTP Go is highly configurable and you can adjust its settings. Check the official documentation. And that's how you install and configure SFTP Go on Ubuntu 24.04 or 22.04. With this powerful tool, you can easily manage file transfers and even connect to cloud storage providers. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials. See you in the next one.